Hi, hello. In this cyber forensics demonstration, I would be discussing about this uh, forensic investigation using NCASE. Okay, this is uh, one of the most important tool for uh, the cyber forensic investigator. Okay, so this tool basically is the industry standard computer investigation solution. Is the forensic practitioners who need to conduct efficient, forensically sound data collection and investigations using repentable and defensible process. The link is given below a security dot open text dot com okay in case forensic solution lets examiners acquire the data from a wide variety of devices unearth potential evidence with disk level forensic analysis and craft comprehensive reports on their findings all while maintaining the integrity of their evidence okay so you can uh, download this uh, particular website from this website uh, security dot open text dot com you can register and uh, get a copy uh, select this end case uh, so you should be able to uh, get through into this okay so i have already a downloaded copy uh, which is uh, end case uh, forensic so this is about uh, once expanded uh, i have about 1 gb so this is my tool so already i have installed in my system so what I am going to do, I just go to run this uh, end case. So since this is an evaluation version, we have some kind of restrictions to our uh, activities. So here, once you open this, you see this, uh, this is the main dashboard of all this. So I just explain about the panes. This is called as the tree pane which is mainly used to show the evidence uh, in a hierarchical tree and uh, this is called as a table pane table pane the selected evidence once we select it will be presented here and this one is called the left uh, bottom is the view pane so whatever selected we can see we can, can view in various type of formats like text or hexadecimal or maybe uh, a kind of all these formats is available and this is called as the filter pane filter pane to filter out or maybe uh, you can uh, sort out some kind of evidences based on uh, your criteria and also you can run the scripts these are the four types of panes which are available in n case now so now I, once if i select the options yes you can see various uh, tabs which are present Please understand this is a global tab where you can uh, uh, select the date format which you want uh, prior to you load your case. So MMDDYY or DDMMYY and the time format which is there and the other options like debug option you can see uh, if there is any crash happens then how what all the things which you can uh, basically get into this. So the colors also you can set accordingly. Once you select this, this is the background and this is the foreground. If you want to change, you can change accordingly. And the fonts also, uh, different type of fonts you can select. Maybe the size of the character or whatever it is. Uh, and you can see this uh, encrypt, uh, show line numbers, debug line num so and so. Select the options whichever is relevant for you. And the storage path, uh, you can select your storage paths these are all defaults if you want you can change the default path to a customized locations where you want to store so by default this is in my app data local temp local temp all these files which are there okay so now the first thing is that i will i have already a cases which are there i'll be showing you uh, once uh, you can see this this is a view partition case i'm just dragging and dropping in my cases uh, pane so you can give the case name this you can say as a case one and examiner name you can provide a son k and uh, if you want you can change the options and say yes so this is now your partitions case which is 001 so once you expand this you can see uh, like you can see the c drive d drive okay so just expand a little bit further you can see this all uh, the mapping of the C drive uh, earlier we had discussed about all these uh, parameters MFT stands for the master file table 
uh, and a mirror copy so I can again revisit to understand about I can say MFT so this is my MFT master file table this is the crucial entry for any uh, boot sector or partition tables okay so like uh, like you have volume label uh, attributes bitmap bad cluster I mean to keep track of all the uh, deleted files etc so we have this so okay you can see all these entries here so you can and uh, of course uh, you can see the other tabs entries uh, bookmarks okay you can select more and more which are there uh, this is search hits we will explore that search hits records devices secure storage and keywords okay so by default we are using this file i mean entries you can see this file extensions permissions i'm just exploring hash properties okay so i'm selecting this home these are all various options which are available even in tools yeah yeah view you can select case sub tabs you can say home file permissions etc See, okay, uh, we can add uh, other cases, uh, I mean other uh, cases also to this particular uh, case, uh, I mean like uh, the email files, okay, so I am adding into this and also maybe a hunter to this case 001, okay. So now let me expand uh, my partition, we just discussed about the partition table. Uh, this is the partition table entries I can even extend further to my files or my file information you can see this these are all uh, various files which are there and in the bottom you can see in the text mode as well as in the hex mode also see here for each and every file you can see the text mode as well as hex mode Okay, like I can uh, go to my emails and see. Okay, this is my inbox. It's X value. And of course, uh, not only this, uh, you can select and uh, go with the disk option. How much space is being occupied in the disk mapping. Okay. Uh, see this look at this okay so you get a clear information about how the files can be explored okay now uh, in this uh, table pane you have the other options like a report and a gallery timeline disk and code okay here also I was just explaining about the other menus in uh, my tree pane uh, entries bookmarks so i will explain about how you can create a bookmark okay uh, in this now so here uh, what i can do is uh, i can select a file or a files like this i am selecting some couple of files four five some files and in tools i'm sorry not to see in uh, this uh, edit you can bookmark the data and give a name create a new bookmark folder i can say bookmark case 01 case 01 and say okay so now anytime if you want to retrieve from the bookmarks yes you can uh, retrieve from this these are the uh, bookmarks which you have done okay now you can see the same things here right so again i'm switching back to entries here now you can say even a search hits also you can see okay you can uh, create a search in the tab at the top okay i'm just going to the entries what you can do is you can create a search and uh, whatever the items which have been marked can be searched across 
So once you tick this up among all the 11,553 entries, you can uh, go and search this and say start. So if the tab doesn't come, you can go to the search hits and view accordingly. View accordingly. Okay. So this is about the search. And uh, now I'll tell about the secure storage. Secure storage is basically uh, figuring out the SAM users and the IDs and the passwords which are encrypted, which are encrypted. This uh, defines the information if there is any password information or keys information or any alias which are there. Okay, uh, so these are all the options which are available and uh, okay. You can even uh, go to the hash sets and compute the hash set for the files uh, for the folders which are there. And uh, finally, you can uh, save uh, save this case to case one uh, so that in future again you can retrieve the case information. This. So these are the options you should be familiar with uh, again creating a case. So that's all about this uh, end case. Okay. Uh, thank you. Bye.